Welcome back. Well, Illinois recorded a seventh straight year of population decline from July 2019 to July of this year. The drop was historic with nearly 80,000 people leaving our state. All right, so we need to talk about this. Joining us now to explain more about this population loss and the reasons behind it, there you see him, Bryce Hill. He's a senior research analyst at the nonprofit Illinois Policy Institute. Hello to you. How are you doing? All right, great. I was looking at those numbers. Yes, it's seven years in a row, and it keeps getting worse and worse every year. Walk us through the numbers, and how are we in comparison to some of the other states that maybe you've looked at? That's exactly right. So for seven straight years, we've seen accelerating population decline. Uh, back in 2014, that was only about 10,000 residents uh, less year over year, but we've grown this year to uh, more than or nearly 80,000 less residents this year compared to last year. That's the most in modern state history. Uh, it's the worst for any state other than New York. And when you look at the past 10 years, we've lost 253,000 residents, nearly triple uh, the amount of any other state. Wow. And, and we should say, Bryce, uh, as you wrote about this, this is not COVID related. This has been going on for, for years and years. What does it say about the, the, the state of affairs in Illinois? Is it is it a tax issue? Is there something else at play? What is the practical effect? Yeah, so when you look at those who have decided to leave the state, 70% uh, of them say they've done so for either housing or uh, work-related reasons. And the primary reason why Illinoisans cannot find affordable housing or uh, they find fewer job opportunities in the state are really poor public policy. So we not only have you know high taxes, you saw the city of Chicago recently raised property taxes, making housing more unaffordable, uh, but the services residents are getting in return for those high tax bills just aren't there. An increasing share of our, our tax dollars uh, are going to non-service related items. Okay, okay, can you drill down a little bit more on the, on the bad policy? What, what does that mean exactly and what areas of our life uh, does that touch? Yeah, so you've seen for the past 20 years, uh, state tax dollars have disproportionately going to things like rising pension costs. Pension costs are over up over 500 uh, percent. Meanwhile, funding for things like education is only up by 30 uh, percent, and many other core services have actually seen real decreases in their funding over the past 20 years. Uh, and despite that, uh, we've had record income tax hikes recently. Uh, within the past 10 years, we continue to see property taxes rising. Uh, so higher tax bills in exchange for fewer services are a bad recipe for attracting residents to your state. All right. So uh, explain as you do some of this research, what will it take and how long will it take to get some of those folks back here in Illinois? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a long, difficult road, probably. Uh, as we mentioned, this is a historic drop. Uh, in population. So to claw some of that back, we normally have more than 100,000 residents choosing other states annually, uh, leaving the state. So uh, it will take quite a bit of work to get that done, but that really begins and ends with uh, constitutional pension reform. A quarter of state tax dollars right now go toward, towards pensions. Those systems keep becoming further and further in debt. Uh, to, so to really shore up retirement security for pensioners and to make the state an attractive place to live again uh, for taxpayers, we have to start there. Well, we, I'd love to keep mm -hmm. talking with you and, and see if there's a silver lining behind all of this, but uh, our time has come to an end. Bryce Hill, the senior research analyst at the nonprofit Illinois Policy Institute. We appreciate uh, the research that you did and sharing with us tonight. Yeah. Thanks for having me.